for the third part, we're going to focus on Germany's future. In order to, to check the pulse of the nation, so to say, um, two team rep representatives are going to fly to Stuttgart to uh, visit the headquarters of Mercedes-Benz there and talk about mobility issues and also about job opportunities in Germany's future. Whilst the rest of the teams are going to join Fridays for Future and take a look at this student protest that deals with climate change and changes that need to occur in politics. It is 6 a.m. at Berlin Airport. Lara and Emma are heading out to Stuttgart. They now form one team exploring Mercedes-Benz, one of Germany's most admired brands. The car industry is at the heart of the German economy, employing millions. The whole industry is undergoing a green transformation, making it a perfect place to explore the future of the country. It's also a great place to learn about Germany's unique educational system that delivers the skills needed in this transformation. The remaining students now form the rival team. They explore Germany's future from a decidedly different angle. Environmentalism is a defining trend in Germany and in Europe. For months, students have skipped school on Fridays to protest for a greener future. For this last round, the rival team joins the protest. Initiated by Greta Thunberg, a 16-year-old activist from Sweden, these protests have swept through Europe. They have exposed a generational conflict and a debate on how to best deal with climate change. Lara. <laughs> Lara and Emma are about to see some very specific products for a greener future. They have been invited to see a futuristic concept car. Electric and autonomous, a ride-sharing car that finds its driver. Das heißt, beim Handy sage ich, ich brauche ein Auto von A nach B. Und dann kommt das Fahrzeug angefahren, zeigt mir vorne im Grill mein Name oder mein Gesicht, öffne die Türen und ich kann einsteigen. Es gibt auch keine Türgriff oder nichts. Das heißt, Fahrzeug erkennt einen, fährt an und öffnet die Tür. German companies like Mercedes have put billions into their research for the mobility of the future. And they have leaped ahead. This car is a hydrogen-powered plug-in hybrid. From its exhaust comes nothing but water. This here on the side is a communication schnittstelle. Oh God. Halt das fest. Yeah. It's a little schwer. It's a little bit Yeah. You can just einfach ransetzen. Okay. Einmal okay. rein, einmal reindrücken und dann rausziehen. So. Ah, also wir haben jetzt 0,97 Kilogramm getankt für 9,22 Euro. Okay, cool. Wo sich die Wasserstofftanks ja. zur Zeit befinden. Ist das jetzt die Zukunft des Autofahrens? I think you can answer me the question. I didn't know a lot about the car industry. I thought they were, they were made out to be these kind of bad people because I guess they weren't made out to be very climate friendly and just out to get the money. Um, but after the technology I've seen today and how they're developing things, I think we're definitely on the right track and we deserve like the good name that Germany has for a car industry. Um, because I mean today for the first time that I filled up uh, a car, I filled it up with hydrogen. And that's a really cool thing to, you know, kind of compared to the future. Lara and Emma also explore what is called dual training system in Germany, a work and study program for students who qualify after the 10th grade. A buttress of Germany's approach to quality manufacturing and a highly attractive employment option in small or large German companies. Ja, wie viele Lehrjahre gibt es denn insgesamt, bis man dann die Ausbildung abgeschlossen hat? Drei Lehrjahre habt ihr hier? Wenn ich jetzt ähm, nach der 10. Klasse einen Abschluss habe, dann könnte ich hier direkt anfangen. Genau. Wenn, wenn, ich, mit, wenn ich angenommen werde. Genau, genau. Die Übernahme ist eigentlich garantiert. Also wir haben eine 100%-Quote. Wir bekommen im Monat sind 1000, knapp 1000 Euro. Im zweiten Lehrjahr sind es dann ein bisschen mehr. Und im dritten Lehrjahr sind es dann nochmal ein bisschen mehr. Anybody doing this paid apprenticeship alternates between school and company and has options to move on to college at a later point. I feel like it's really cool that you get paid for 
learning and what I found most um, amazing is that you actually have like a 100% chance of getting a job here. Back in Berlin, the rival team is hatching an idea to trump Emma and Lara's report about their exclusive visit at Mercedes-Benz. They are working on an alternative presentation style that is in tune with the alternative spirit of the Fridays for Future movement. Which of these three cars or um, solutions that you showed us did you find the most appealing or the most interesting? Uh, the one? first one with the hydrogen, the hybrid car. Um, because it just, I think a big topic among the youth right now is the climate friendliness of cars. Lara and Emma deliver a perfect presentation. But it leaves their stone-faced rival team unimpressed. Yeah, so our presentation is actually not one like this. Um, we would like to present it to you in the schoolyard. Um, if you would like to follow us, then we present what we've learned and today. Excellent. They have created a play, mimicking what is an emotional debate when it comes to questions of climate change. We don't want you to go. Why? There's no use anyway. I want you to become successful like me. But Greta Thunberg said, why should I be studying for a future that soon may be no more, when no one is doing anything to save that future? You won't go to this dem demonstration. Sadly, this is what most adults think of Fridays for Future. But for us it is a chance to show what we want, what we need. This year's European election shows that we can change something. We are able to have a future, but the time to act is now. The message resonates with the teacher panel. Buddy, welcome back. Um, first of all, we would like to say that we are very impressed by all your presentation. Thank you very much again. The winner is the Friday for Future team. We learned about Germany so far and um, Germany would be nothing without the European Union. That's why the winner gets a ticket, a train ticket to Brussels to explore the European Union and the heart of Europe. But the biggest win will be learning from the past because it is key to tackling the future.